feet through. <laughs> murdered Gallus. The guild took in a thief who specialized in dwarven antique. By Talos. The last seems to think old Mercer is pulling a fast one on us, leading us here and letting the dwarven constructs wear us down. You learn you can't get the drop on me. When Vrinyol brought you before me, I could feel a sudden shift in the wind. And at that moment, I knew it would end with one of us at the end of a blade. What's Carlyle been filling your head with? Tales of thieves with honor, oaths ripe with falsehoods and broken promises. Nocturnal doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. Revenge, is it? Have you learned nothing from your time with us? When will you open your eyes and realize how little my actions differ from yours? Both of us lie, cheat, and steal to further our own end. It's clear you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. Then the die is cast, and once again my blade will taste Nightingale blood! This shouldn't be- Who's that? What, what's happening? I can't stop myself! Damn you, Marissa. 
fight it, Bruno. He's taken control of you. I'm sorry, Oscar. I, I can't.
Sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. I can't believe it's over. 25 years in exile and just like that, it's done. All that remains is to ensure the safe return of the skeleton key. I'm afraid it's not that simple. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulcher, our access to the inner sanctum was removed. The only way to bring it back will be through the Pilgrim's Path. It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure to protect the key. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre, but I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this bow almost my entire life, and it's never let me down. I hope it brings you the same luck. The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. This agent of strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. Even though Nocturnal doesn't desire worship in the traditional sense, the Twilight Sepulchre propagated a small group of priests. Of course, they never come into direct contact with Nocturnal, but they insisted they had her favor. As part of their duties, the priests created all sorts of baseless rituals and ceremonies, all on Nocturnal's behalf. These priests weren't a threat to the Skeleton Key, or the conduit to Nocturnal's realm, so they were tolerated. One of their ceremonies involved the Pilgrim's Path, a so-called Test of Worthiness. If a pilgrim was able to complete the path, it was said that they would live forever in twilight. What that means is anyone's guess. The conduit to Nocturnal's realm, the realm of Everglow, has been in Skyrim, well, longer than recorded history. The Twilight Sepulchre was constructed around it by man and myrrh in order to shield it from those who would exploit its power. It's through this conduit that we're given Nocturnal's greatest gift, our luck. What she gains in return is a complete mystery. The Agent of Subterfuge utilizes Shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. I've been a Nightingale for a very long time. I sold my allegiance to Nocturnal in exchange for many profitable years of thieving. Falling in love with Gallus was wrong. It was a distraction that allowed the Sepulchre to be desecrated and it likely cost him his life. Until the key is returned, I will never set foot inside that place again.
sorry, lad. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time.